Michael here for the basics of the Cable Reverse Fly. Now rear delts are tough ones. Some of us don't know how to train them, some train them in a wrong way or even don't train them at all. Now the Reverse Fly pays off really well when done correctly. Don't get greedy on this, rear delts are definitely not the strongest muscle on your body. So don't expect moving large amounts of weights with this exercise. Start light to master the proper movement. So you're holding the cables on the opposite side of each hand. Step 1. Slightly bending over. For those who are not doing this yet, it will help lots into isolating your rear delt. Keeping your back straight makes you contract your back at a certain point to move the weight. What you want is to contract the rear delt. Bending your back will make it easier to isolate the wanted muscle. Now the height of your arms is your next focus. The level you put your arms at will be the same during the whole exercise. Best ways to keep them perpendicular to the ground. Too low will make you doing a rowing type of exercise which will make you contract your back. The movement will consist of bringing your hands in front of you to your sides with the delt contraction. Now you also want to avoid using your arms to move the weight. They will have to keep the same form. So keep your elbows slightly bent, just like the chest fly. But as the name says it, it's reversed. Quick tip, grip the cables with your palms facing the ground. This way it makes it easier to contract the rear delt instead of your back. Your range of motion is extremely simple. Bring the cables as far back as you can, but only with the contraction of your rear delt. Don't use your back to bring the cable further back. Thanks for watching guys, I do hope this helped, don't forget to like and subscribe, I will see you for the next video.